Hello and welcome from our capital of Germany, which is Frankfurt. Just kidding, it's Berlin. Um, we are today here with the Canon EOS M10 and with Alisa. And she brought two things with her. And those things are about how it shouldn't look like. First of all, we have her nails that no Polish girl made so far. And of course, we have hairs that look a little bit green, shouldn't look green. And welcome to the review. They shouldn't if you've look green. They shouldn't look green. No, they should look green. No, they shouldn't. So welcome and enjoy this review in English. Roberto, Alisa and me, we're going to enjoy now a delicious ice cream. The ball costs just one euro and 60 cents. <laughs> too expensive and thereafter Alisa will tell you about the specs of the Canon EOS M10. Enjoy! The overall build quality is very good. On both sides we have a port to attach the carrying strap. Here we have the HDMI connection and the SD card slot. You can attach any tripod to this camera and it also features Wi-Fi and NFC. With this little button up here you can pop up the flash like this and so you close it. I will now take a selfie to see how it looks like with a flash. Let's see how many photos we can take per second. So if you make use of the burst mode of the Canon EOS M10, you can shoot up to 4.6 photos a second and up to 1000 photos in JPEG. So the good thing about the monitor of the Canon EOS M10 is that you can tilt it around 180 degrees. So it's quite nice if you do self-recording, if you have a beauty block or you need to go to the city and say, hey, I'm here and I'm there. And the camera feels really good in your hand. So even with one hand, it's quite nice to shoot. Or if you use a little gorilla pot or a little tripod to record yourself, it's quite nice. It's not that wobbling around like you're used to other Sony cameras, for instance. It's really solid. The build quality overall, it turns 180 degrees and it's a touch display as well. What I really like about the M10, it has a flip screen so you can record yourself for tutorials or to vlog yourself. But you can't connect an external microphone, unfortunately. Hello. So it's just the perfect camera for you if you like to vlog yourself or do makeup tutorials or to record yourself for anything you want. The closest focusing distance on the camera depends on your lens. But if you use a proper lens, you can go as close as 20 centimeters onto your subject and you get a really nice, good looking bokeh and of course, great macro shots. The cool thing about the Canon EOS M10 is that it has um, the feature that you may attach an adapter to it. So you can use every Canon Sigma or Tamron lens with that adapter. Only those ones that are made for Canon especially. And, but today we're having here the uh, 15 to 45 millimeter with an aperture of 3.5 to 6.3. So it's not the best lens to shoot during the night, but the ISO performance on this camera is not too bad either. And what you can do with that lens, so in terms of zoom, I will show you now, so enjoy. So now at 15 millimeter, now we're gonna shoot at uh, 24 millimeter. And of course, we're going to shoot at 45 millimeter as well. And as far as I can see, I'm taking all photos in RAW. So you can shoot in RAW and in JPEG as well. And so far, the image quality looks quite nice and it has a great dynamic. So if you're new to the Canon system and to those uh, little uh, lenses that comes with the Canon EOS M10, make sure to release that little lock on top of the lens. To, to make use of the full zoom, let's say from 15 to 45 millimeter. And if you want to stow the lens or the function that you can zoom, just make sure you pull up or you push that little button on top of the lens again, and then you stow it back to the, to the little point on top of the white line. So what's the advantage of having this camera, the M10, instead of a simple digital camera that might be cheaper as well. I mean, this camera with that lens, I found it today in a German store called MediaMarkt for about 250 to 300 euros, which is not too bad. 
but let's consider you have just a digital camera so you can't change the lens with this camera you can so if you need change so let's say you're going from an architecture you're going from an architecture photography to the let's say you're going to shoot some safari shots you need a telephoto lens so you can attach it to that camera with a normal digital camera you can't so that's one of the advantages that you have with the m10 with the adapter you can use all canon lenses one of the minor disadvantages of this camera is that we just figured out today we actually wanted to finish the review about the m10 and before we started to do this review about this camera i I started to charge the camera and it was fully charged the battery and right now it's already gone we probably took a hundred pictures and let's say we took a couple of video files but that's it so make sure if you get this camera buy a second battery otherwise you won't have that much fun if you go on holiday or if you have any event that you may shoot with that camera so get a second battery as well Because the battery of the M10 was empty, so we're going through Frankfurt a little bit. I will show you around. I'm here at the Römerberg, which is a little bit south of the center of Frankfurt, with all the traditional houses, with that church here, and there are many restaurants down there. And if you come here before Christmas, at the end of November, shortly before Christmas, you have a wonderful Christmas market here as well, and you may meet me as well, just kidding. So if you're here, make sure you visit the Römerbeck as well. So one good thing about Frankfurt is uh, we're only having... Frankfurt has only 750,000 people living here and during the day we have 3.5 million uh, for work of course and one good thing about Frankfurt is a really good thing about that you can reach all things really easy and really fast. So Berlin is completely different. It has 3.5 million people living there in general and if you want to go from one part of Berlin to the other part, it takes you a long time, even through the really good train connection. And in Frankfurt, it's completely different because here you just walk from one part of the city to the other and it goes really quick. And the connection between trains and buses are really frequently and it re it's really nice, let's say, to go from the Römer to the center of Frankfurt. It just takes you by foot 10 minutes and that's it just took me about seven to ten minutes to get into the center of Frankfurt we're here at the Zeil which is like the big shopping street in Frankfurt if you're here make sure you want to you're gonna visit this one here there's a couple nightclubs as well and of course many opportunities for you to go shopping Especially for city trips, I can recommend this camera because it's small, it's very light and it's super for my bag because it's super small and the quality is really good. Another cool thing about this camera is the autofocus system. It's precise and really fast. Also for taking selfies, a really, really good camera. At the side of the camera, there's a little Wi-Fi button. If you press it, you can connect your camera with your smartphone. After you have successfully connected your camera with your smartphone, you go to the App Store and download the Canon Camera Connect app. It's this little thing here. I show you how it works. This is the menu. When you go to remote live view, you can see yourself. If you press this button, you can take photos or change the settings, but you can't take videos. So I show you how it works. If you press this button, you can do the picture. If you go to photos on your camera, you can download everything and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter or WhatsApp. Then you have all the photos in high quality on your image library. If you don't know how it works, I put a link in the description. There is a video um, that shows you how to connect your camera with your smartphone. It's so simple, so try it by yourself. 
If you use this Canon mount adapter, you can use every Canon Sigma or Tamron lens for your camera. Make sure if you change the lens to hold your camera downwards, that will prevent dust particles from entering the sensor. <laughs> Whoa! Finally, I can put my 2000 euro lens on my 240 euro camera. What a luck! So now I'm taking a photo with 70mm, 100mm and 200mm but beware that we have a crop factor of 1.6 <laughs> Now I'm going to shoot a 70mm and I'm to the foot. So... and 100mm and 200 millimeter <laughs> we are near the cafe Barcelona and that's how it looks like here Now it's time for a conclusion about the Canon EOS M10. Alisa, what did you like most about this camera? Three facts. Um, it's small. You can put every lens on it. And it's very light. How about the monitor? Yeah, I love that uh, you can switch up the monitor. That's the thing I love uh, the most at the camera. So that you can basically block yourself or that you can take selfies with a flip screen. Yeah. So that's a really good point. And what uh, were the points that you say are oh, the camera is not the best one? So some contra points about this camera? Yeah, in darkness it's um, very... Oh, you see the grain? Like yeah. the ISO? So you, yeah. it's, uh, it's a little bit grainy when it's dark. So you can really see that the ISO is going up and then you have some of these noises inside the picture. But apart from that, I think it's a, value, a really good value for money. And you can be happy because the next review will be about the Canon EOS M6. There will be another review on all Canon 50mm lenses. And of course about the Canon 500mm f4. So I hope you enjoyed this review in English. And if you have any questions, state them below. And if you want to see Alisa, what she's doing all day long, just add her on her Instagram account. And then you can see what she's doing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>